Welcome back, everybody. It's time to lock down some Naya Slivers. We are up against Fred Gertz, and we've got a pretty terrible hand again. What's going on, guys? I swear, I feel like I haven't kept... I haven't kept a hand in, like, six videos. It's insane. This is, this is trash, too. Holy cow, man. Like, I haven't messed with the mana base at all. Like, I don't know what's going on. We're just getting so unlucky with these draws. Really bad. Well, Fred, go easy on me, please. Uh, maybe he'll mulligan too? Uh, he did. He mulliganed to six. Oh, my gosh. All right, well, we kind of have to keep this. And just hope for the best. We'll get rid of a winding. We'll get rid of a... Mm. I guess we'll get rid of a lord? Since we got two playables off the planes, at least it's something. Something's better than nothing. I'm going to really regret dropping a lord if we pull into a forest, though. That's the only thing. We got a winding way, though, to refill. Alright, I'm going to drop the Lord just in case we don't hit our forest. We can at least have a couple turns of plays, depending on what Fred is going to allow us to do. If this is mono black, we're in some trouble. Alright, see, that's... Uh, we'll start with our Sidewinder, only because I feel like it's about to get Edict. Alright, it's Ash Bearing, so... Swamp. Feeling a Swamp, okay. And he has a planes. All right, interesting. Straight away, lone missionary. Okay. If we can just pull into a forest, that would be awesome. Uh, we can attack in. Don't touch our board, will ya? Just don't touch our board. This is some kind of brew. This is interesting. Prophetic Prism. Okay. I'm down to clown with whatever you're putting, putting in here. Attacking in with the Lone Missionary, because they don't want to block with it. It's fine, we'll take two. We're swinging back for two. Come on. Oh my gosh. This is pretty terrible. Ugh. This is why we don't keep one landers, but I mean, we mold to five? Not much we can do about that at that point. Gaining lots of life. Yeah, they're just gonna race us now. They're gonna take advantage of our mana screwedness oh my gosh we just keep getting worse and worse off here kill something sacrifice a creature all right goodbye if they kill this guy i'm just gonna go to game two uh it's pretty pointless at this point What are you doing at blocks? Tell me more about your deck. What do you what do you got going? Ah. Obi Gang Shinobi. Ah uh, yeah. Cool. Alright, I concede. I'm done. Let's go to sideboard. Um, hmm. Standard Bearer. Flaring Pain. They're playing white, you gotta assume they're bringing in prismatic strands or something. 
Is that all I want? I don't know. Take out Blade back. Take out a Striking. I don't think we'll need it. And let's see here. Uh, I want to keep in the Hunter, so maybe I just cut the other Blade back. Yeah, sure. Let's do it like that. Yeah, because if they try to put down another shinobi, you know, we can we can make them chump block with the hunter or something like that. Potentially. I would like to play first and I would like to have a keepable hand. This is a keepable hand, thank goodness. Okay, let's uh, get the comeback going here. We can dodge an edict for a turn. Starting with the planes, that's pretty good. Thraben, I don't care about you so much. Sinew, not bad. I like it. We're just going to play Lords for now. Start getting going. We're not going to give him a chance. No swamp. Your turn to be mana screwed. Alright, fair enough. Uh, depending on what they do, I might just try to lead the Stampede to be mana efficient next turn. Let's see what they got. Skyfisher. Returning Thraben. Alright. I'm cool with that. Kind of tells me what they might be planning for their next turn. Gemhide, though. Does that change things? Gemhide into lead the Stampede, but then I tap out? Kind of want to be aggro against these guys. Hmm. Gem hide into Lord. I'll go gem hide into Lord. That's uh that's the better line this turn, I think. Yeah. We're good. You lucky I got mana screwed. Now we can refill and just go nuts. Double Swamp. Chainer's Edict, sure. Um, do I want to get rid of Gem Hide or just get rid of a Plated? It's an interesting choice. I'll get rid of Plated, just in case we want to really set up with Gem Hide. Unless they're about to kill it anyways. I'm gonna tragic slip this. Okay. I'm fine with that. We can still rebuild. Alright. Vivalence is not bad. I think I'm still gonna winding way here. Just look for some more stuff. There we go. That's nice. I'll take a turn off and I'm just going to play everything out. Oops. Uh, cancel. There we go. Alright, go to you. Another refill on the way. would kind of suck if they shinobied here, because I do want this other lead, the Stampede. We'll see, though. 
If they attack in, they might have it. There's a Thraben. Doing nothing else. Okay. Blossoming. I'll play it. Oh, that's a bust. Holy cow. That's a big bust. Uh, Alright. Well, so be it. We'll go ahead and just drop it down. Uh, I'm just going to attack in. I want to get this game going. I'll wait to play my hunter. They have no good blocks. So we'll see what they do. Taking it all. Going to nine. Crack a clue, sure. Game three. Uh, what else did they show me? Anything new, really? No, not really. I think I, I'm fine with how we have it. Didn't show prismatic spans. Maybe flaring pain isn't a big deal. I'll keep it just in case, though. So. We'll just run it back. Maybe drop one flaring pain, bring in one relic. I don't know. Just to have both sides covered, I guess. Potentially. Uh, okay. Yeah. I can dig it. I can dig it. Keep. Juka, alright, they're giving us a second. That's good. Oh, I'm yawning too much today, guys. Oh, my goodness. I was up till 3 a.m. playing Call of Duty. Castigate. Choose a non-land card. Exile that card. Sure, go ahead. I got plenty. You know, take a lord. I got two more. Worst thing they could do is actually just take one of these. Because I want to play two of these next turn. I'm just going to play Plated and Sidewinder. Um, I guess uh, if they take the Winding Way, it means they might have a lot of answers for our lords. But we'll see. We got a good hand. We got a good hand. Game one, I never get a good hand. <laughs> I always have to mulligan. The games after that, it's it's better. It's better, but still. Struggles are real. Alright, they took my winding way. How intriguing. Maybe they got more castigates. Uh, yeah, so that tell me, tells me they, uh, they might be setting up for quite a bit. Uh, could go plated plated. Um, yeah, we'll go plated plated. I don't know what other types of removal they have, but it's always good to set up with better defense. Alright, so what are you going to do? 
you gonna keep destroying my hand? You gonna do nothing? Okay. Do nothing. I'm gonna play patient. I think they're they're expecting me to play a lord here or something, so if they want to use removal on one of these guys, sure, go ahead. Sure. No big deal. I ain't falling for your tricks. It'd be nice to get a gem hide and dump two lords out. If possible, but uh, Omen of the Dead, return target creature card from your graveyard to your hand. Uh, well, you don't have a creature card, so... I was... You're just doing that to get the scry set up. Hmm. Uh, alright. The Jukebog. Sure. Alright, they had a little bit of a screwy hand. I guess they kept... I get why they kept it, but... It just couldn't really compete with our hand. So, bring back the omen, I guess. It's kind of a weird sequence. Gem hide? Okay. Well, I will go gem hide into a lord. Well, I asked for a gem hide, I received. So, pretty happy about that. Gonna chump block, okay. They're concerned. They're very concerned. Oh, they have the Omen of the Dead, though, so they can just get it back, no big deal. Uh, tragic Slip, sure. Oh, they want the Morbid cost, too. Yeah, alright, that works. I got two more coming, man. I got two more coming. And you're running out of cards. Oh, yeah. So you got Omen of the Dead in hand, and Pestilence. Uh, at the beginning of end step, if there are no creatures, sacrifice it. Pay one. Okay, Pestilence is good. Pestilence is good. Alright, so, let's think here. One, two, three, four. They can't kill our board. One damage to each creature and each player, so they can hit one, two, three, four on all of our creatures, but our guys are going to be five fives. I think I just go for it. Maybe that's a mistake. But they need to grab, like, a swamp to, in order to, like, kill our whole board now. So Pestilence isn't going to do much. And we just win if they don't draw, like, a swamp. Get back core. Sure. Okay, that's good. Replaying. Skyfisher. Sure. Alright, so I think we got it. Sometimes you can just race these board wipe things. Yeah, sounds good. Yeah. Alright, cool. Let's see what our card draw would have been. Uh, another gem hide. Okay. Yeah. Dope. Alright, we came back from a really, really crappy mulligan, as we typically do in these past, like, week and a half, two weeks, I feel like, but leave a like on the video for a nice comeback here, uh, leave a comment down below if you're enjoying Naya Slivers, and if you checked out yesterday's new, uh, game series video that post, that was posted, uh, leave a comment below too, let me know if you enjoyed that, I thought it was a lot of fun. Uh, if you watch the whole thing or True Trooper, the episodes will begin a little shorter uh, in the upcoming weeks uh, as well, just a little bit longer for the first episode. Uh, but if you enjoyed that, yeah, make sure to leave a like and subscribe because we'll be having more coming out. Thanks for watching, everybody. We will see you guys in the next video.